What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are going to look at how to find the area of compound shapes. So let's go. So first of all, what is the area? Well, area is the measurement of the inside of a shape. So if we were looking at these shapes here, the area would be the measurement of all this green stuff. And what's a compound shape? Well, a compound shape is shapes that are put together forming an irregular shape. So we can see here, we had an original rectangle, let's call that A, and next to it we had another rectangle, let's call that B, and together they create a compound shape. So when we're measuring the area of a compound shape, we need to follow these steps. And the first step is to split into the individual shapes that it started with, then we're gonna work out the area of each shape, and then we're gonna add that together to get the area of the total of our compound shape. So if you're gonna master this video, you need to know how to actually find the area of a shape. So let's start with step one, which was to split these into individual shapes. So I can see that I have two rectangles, as we said, and I could either cut it just here and call this A and this B, or what I could do is I could split it along here and call this one A and this one B. It doesn't matter, we're gonna get the same at the end when we add it together. So let's leave it like this and then we're gonna work out the area of each of the individual shapes. So let's do A first of all. So I'm gonna measure the area of shape A. Now when we're measuring area, we need to understand the formula, which is that we measure the base, which is the length at the bottom, times the height, which is the length of the side. So we have area equals base times height. So in this case, if we look at this measurement across the base, how do we find out its measurement? Well, let's look opposite, and we can see that we have eight centimeters. So we have area equals eight times, and what's its height? We can see we have the height over here of two centimeters. So the area of shape A is eight times two, which is 16. But 16 what? 16 turkeys, 16 cars, no, 16 centimeters. And what we need to understand that we've done is we've effectively cut this shape into two rows because we have two centimeters and eight columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And what we've done to measure it is we've just counted how many of these square centimeters we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have my 16. We had centimeters, and then we are calling them centimeters squared. So this part here, this centimeter squared, is the unit that we use when measuring area if we're in centimeters. It could obviously be meter squared, kilometer squared, mile squared, anything. But it's squares. So this is our shape A. 16 centimeters squared. Now let's do the same for shape B. Shape B is area equals base times height, and the base is five centimeters, so we have five times the height, which is this length here, which is also five centimeters. So my area equals 25 centimeters squared but I'm not yet finished because my final step said to add them together to get the total of my compound shape. So I'm gonna get my 16 centimeters and add it to my 25 centimeters. And I'm gonna do that in column method. So 16 plus 25 equals ones. Six plus five is 11. And then in my tens, one plus one is two, plus the two is four. So I have 41 centimeters squares. Easy, 